Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this on Facebook. And a couple of people that know me suggested he look through my videos. and But he doesn't know the wordage. And I don't really know the wordage that you would search for on this. My favorite way to, and I, I tried to copy it somewhat. He said the, the uh, don't worry about the text. He's just trying to get the idea. But I put four individual lines of text. They're not all written out. That way you can move stuff around. I purposely uh, made the long, I turned uh, the text into a curve just so I could make it a little bit more like the picture where they have the downsides. But this thing is under two inches. I've got my nudge factor set on two inches. These are individual items. So if you look down here, you've got four objects. Because they're not grouped together, you can use the boundary tool, create a boundary. That doesn't make much sense, but there you go right there. And what that did, that created one item. Now you can go to object and contour, excuse me, effects and contour. We're gonna to contour to the outside, just point one with rounded corners. And there you have something like they're wanting. Now, because of the fact that, you know, we've got something sticking out, maybe too far to the right, too far to the left. And in this case, I wanna show you, you also wanna do a couple of things. You wanna to go to object, break the contour apart, grab your contour, move it out of the way. You do not want those things cut out of that leather patch. So in this case, you can go break the curve apart, just grab the outside, move it over, those little cut bits stay, and then turn that into a, you've got to select it, turn that into a hairline, which it is now. So that's how I do stuff like that. There are several ways you could do it. And let's just show what happens if you didn't pick rounded corners? Watch this, let's go square corners. That's something you wouldn't want. So you definitely need to use rounded corners. And there are several, you know, think about, uh, let's go like 0 0.05 and just get a little bit of a contour. Now think about this, go up to object, break contour apart. What? Let me back up here. Let's do a, that point 0.1. Let's break the contour apart. Let's move it over. Got to grab just the contour. Let's go ahead and go up to object and break the curve apart. Let's grab just this and let's go down. Now let's get rid of this. Now this time let's contour that 0 0.05. Go up to effect or excuse me, object break contour apart. Let's take that and move it over. Now we don't have any internal parts, but if we go now, let's contour one more time, 0 0.05, go up to object, break the contour apart, take the contour and you get, now let's break the curve apart. I'm just gonna select the inside nodes. And you basically get, let me turn that one red. You get the exact same contour because you just doubled it. So, you know, a lot of times you can look, well, I didn't go far enough. You can either recontour or back up. And, you know, at this point, you might want to go, well, let's contour um, just point one more. Break the contour apart. Well, wait a minute. I don't want to go 0.1. I want to go 0 0.02. Just a little bit of a contour. Let's go a little bit more. Back it up. 0 0.03. 0 0.03. Why is it doing that? 0 0.03. Just get a little bit of a contour. Break contour apart. Grab it. Move it down. 
you still get the almost the exact same thing. Let's go to object, break curve apart. Just grab the outside one, turn it red, red. And see, you get just a little bit less of a contour. And, and if you look at it, if we move it over to the, the patch, you know, you can kind of pick which one you'd rather have. Let's do this. Let's make a copy of that. And let's put our other contour in that spot. Make it red. And you kind of, you know, which one do you want to use? This is just a little bit bigger. Uh, this has, you know, more ripples. Well, there's really about the same thing. This has deeper ripples on the dad. And if, you know, let's say you don't want those ripples on the dad. Very easily, just take take your shape tool and just delete those ripples. You know, if if that's what something you you know the customer might want, and then take these two and right click, turn them into a line. You know, make it well. You don't want to do that. Um, probably the best thing you can do in a case like that is just take it grab it, get your arrow here, and just bring it down a little bit. And then, of course, I would go and align my nodes horizontally, and they'll be the same off the hat. Just different, you know, it does make it kind of stand out. I do like, you know, the way they just used a different font than I did. Uh, let's put those dimples back and you could you could do the opposite you could you probably don't want to take those two nodes but you could take and go a little bit further in you could play with this you know don't think you have to do what you know let's see what happens when we take these away nope too many You know, you could play around with, you know, different effects. I don't like that at all. But you see what I'm getting at. You know, if you wanted more dimples or less dimples, um, just kind of go with the flow. Anyway, I hope that kind of helped everybody. And thank you for watching.